I'm here with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add an extra mechanical hard drive to your Dell laptop. In this particular one, we have a Dell G315. It comes with a GeForce GTX 1050. Unfortunately, these ones, they don't include you the mechanical hard drive. They only give you 256 gig NVMe. So I'm going to show you guys how to add the mechanical hard drive. So first thing first, what you want to do, you want to grab your uh, yourself a mechanical hard drive. I recommend to grab one with a 7200 RPM, doesn't matter what brand. I'll go with the Western Digital or Seagate. Don't buy Samsung. Anyway, once you have the mechanical hard drive ready, you want to flip over your laptop. You want to grab your toolkit. I usually use this one, the iFixit toolkit. They have all the bits that you need. It's a really nice kit, by the way. So from this kit, what do you want to use? You want to use the opening tool. This is the only one that you need. And you're going to need the bits. And for this one, I'm going to use the, the number zero. These are the only ones that you're going to be needing. So what are you going to do? You're going to remove all the screws at the bottom cover. So starting from the front end of the laptop. I usually put a magnet on this one right here so I can actually pick up the screws. Alright, and the thing about the back uh, screws right here by the hinge is that they have a C-lock protection on them so it won't actually come out, you can just loose them up. You're going to hear a click sound at the end. That's when you know when to stop. There. There. Alright, now we're gonna put this to one side. Now what you wanna do, you wanna open the laptop just a little bit. Just like that. And what you wanna do, you wanna grab your opening tool and you wanna shove it between the top and the bottom cover. Gently. And what you wanna do, you wanna wiggle it around just like this. And go all around just as soon as you see a this gap opening you don't need to put the whole thing inside just the tip of it just in the corner if you know what I mean and do the sides okay. you don't need to do the back end and you want to put it back down again and now you want to pick up the front side and you want to wiggle it around to the sides, just some wiggling and lift up. It has some clips underneath, so it's gonna loose up. And then you want to pull it towards yourself, but have uh, this kind of angle. So this is the bottom cover, if you want to clean the mesh right underneath, go ahead. Now, down here we have the RAM, we have the NVMe hard drive. This is a small one, you can actually add on a longer one, the 288 one. This one actually is a really short one. So here they actually give you the caddy and the connector for a mechanical hard drive, but you just don't include it. So what do you want to do? You want to remove this screw right here. Okay, let's just pull the speakers out for a second. Just lift it. Remove this one, this one, and the one at the back. You don't need to disconnect the battery. There is no need. If you power it up, you just fine. All right. Once you remove this ones right here. It's funny because they actually give you an extra, this is really neat. They actually gonna give you the screws to put the hard drive in. And there's the adapter to put the hard drive in. So what do you wanna do? You wanna grab this one separate, 
you want to grab your hard drive you want to put it just like that now what do you want to do you want to grab these four screws put one right there there back there and on the other side and after that you want to grab the the adapter for the SATA you just want to there's only one way it goes in so just push it in there and once you have it in place you want to place it in here I'm not gonna put the screws in so I'm just gonna do it for the heck of the video I'm just gonna show you guys now you can actually go ahead and put the three screws to hold it in place and this adapter cable it has to go over and the ribbon cable the blue side has to look face up you want to lift up this hinge right here this hinge right here you're just going to lift it up there the black side and you want to shove this ribbon cable right all the way in evenly and close it and you can just leave it in there just like that or you can just do some cable management just like this and that's it and once you have all the three screws back in there you just grab the bottom cover you put the three back screws and then just grab the bottom cover and put it in for the this client doesn't want it so i'm just going to remove it again to remove it just lift up the hinge be careful with the thing and remove the four screws to the side put it back here grab the hard drive And you know, if you want to remove the adapter, don't yank on the cable, just yank on the plastic on the adapter, just carefully, just like that. And there we go. And you can put it back in its place for later use. Just put it right under the caddy. It's fine right there. And that's how you add the extra hard drive if you want to. You can add a mechanical hard drive or an extra SSD drive. It supports both of them. So it doesn't matter, you can put up to four terabyte hard drive in there. So you have no problem there. And you can remove your SSD NVMe drive just by removing one screw and it just comes out like a memory RAM. And you can add in a bigger one or a different model. Then you put the speakers, just push in the speakers, grab the top bottom cover, put down the heatsink side, down, and make sure you push it down in the corner, push down the sides, you have to hear those clicks. And the last thing is to tie down the screws, and then you are set to go. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like the video, I appreciate if you guys click that thumbs up button. And if you have any comments, questions, ask them in the comments area. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm just going to finish this one up.